You know, I played DOS games a lot growing up, and still do. But I got to thinking one day... What if DOS games got a remake? I mean, that idea doesn't sound too esoteric. Before we start, games like Doom, Wolfenstein 3D, and Duke Nukem 3D are not included in this video. With that, here are 5 DOS games that should be remade for modern systems. Let's start this one off with a classic, Rise of the Triad. This game is fast paced, has a decent cast of characters, awesome enemies, great soundtrack, and pretty sweet weapons. What would I do to this game? First and foremost, online multiplayer, no questions asked. While we're at it, let's add bots to this. Even if you can't find someone to play with, the bots would be happy to assist. The next thing I would do is make the levels less linear. I'll explain more in a full review at some point. Before I forget, I'll make mention that controls for shooters would be too obvious to point out. The cherry on top would be making the game more violent than its DOS counterpart. Between Epic Pinball and Extreme Pinball, this game takes the spot, no offense to Epic Pinball. They say less is more, and in this case, that saying matters here. This is also one of few games where online multiplayer would not benefit this game. Besides the graphics makeover, one thing I would do is make the physics more believable. While I won't rant on it too much, a little more polish would be beneficial. One big feature I've seen in later pinball games would be leaderboards, and this game would benefit from it. Having an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 controller would make the action a little more like playing an actual This game was one of few fighting games that didn't get a console release. This, in a way, is completely fine. Between Xenophage and One Less Fall 2097, this is the game that needs a remake. For starters, make the AI less exploitable. Even on the hardest difficulty, I had very little trouble beating this game due to a few bots that can exploit the AI. Controls would be next. While not terrible, the way the attacks work is a bit awkward. The way I would work this is have each attack assigned to a specific button, a la Street Fighter. A few more arenas would be nice, including places from other epic game titles like Jazz Jackrabbit and Jill of the Jungle. While on topic of more, a few more characters to play as would help, but not too many. One thing I didn't mention from Extreme Pinball is the rumble feature for the controls, and this game would benefit from it. I would also use either the Killer Instinct's Hex Engine or Unreal Engine for this game to make some really impressive graphics. Well, that was quite a trip, but I'm not done yet. What do you think the number two and number one slot would be? Shoot a comment on what you think. Before I end this video, I would like to give a special shout out to a special friend of mine. Her name is Lex. She has been there with me since day one, and she is the best friend I've ever had. Lex, this shout out is for you.